What's up everybody? This is your buddy Kuzumoto. Today we got the very, 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 very first install slash upgrade video for my 2019 MT-09. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the CRG Aero Bar and Mirrors. Look, there's me right there. We're going to show you how to install these bad boys on the bike. Alright, get rid of these ugly OEM things. Here we go. Okay, everybody, here we go. So your first tool you're going to need, you're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench. Okay, this is to get off the OEM mirrors. Super easy. So here we go. Just make sure to turn it the right way. Yep, got to go the other way. There you go. And then all you got to do is this. And this is just removing these. Just be careful afterwards not to uh, drop it off, but bam. That's one. Here we go, move to the other side. All right, folks, here we are on the other side. You're gonna use your same 17 millimeter wrench, okay? And then all you gotta do is take them off. All right, and then we'll go ahead and we'll start on this side. After I take off this one, we'll put in the first uh, bar and mirror. I'll adjust the handlebars so it's easier to have, you know, get them more straight like that. But it's already much cleaner looking even without without these stock things on. OEM stuff sucks, we all know that. So we're gonna start installing the first mirror here on the left side of the handlebars. Um, what you're gonna need for this is Allen keys. You got that? You can have whatever you want, I have this thing. Um, your mirror, okay, mirror. And what the site does not give you, which I think with the price you pay for each one of these mirrors, $107 a piece, that <laughs> You should get this adapter kit right here that you need to attach the bar ends to these because the OEM bar ends don't work for these to be installed. So you have to buy these. I bought these on Amazon for 17 bucks um, a piece. So I had to get two of them. So that was fun. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to install this into here and then attach on the bar end mirror. Ooh, man, that had a lot of torque on it. It's in there. Oh. So I seen something where someone put them on here, but that just makes no sense to me. So that's what you want to do, actually. You can do that dumb stuff, but not me. Mm -mm. So, all right, so we got that off. I'm going to get the kit out. I'm going to open this up. All right, everybody, here we go. Um, so always make sure you read your instructions on how to make sure you're properly doing it, okay? It's very important that you do this so you don't F it all up. Alright, so obviously shows how the wedge pieces need to be put on the bracket before I put it in and tighten it down. So just make sure you use your just instructions or distractions I like to call them for this and follow that, okay? Once you have it together, it should look like this. This I kind of have to hold it together, but it's got the two wedge pieces and the other ones. You're right here like this. Let's see if you can do it. But you get it together and try to keep it together, okay? <laughs> and you just slide it right in the bar end. Okay. Alright, here we go. So I got it figured out. All I need that all these pieces come from different size handlebars. So all I need is just these two pieces and the washer that goes on it. All you do is slide it in nice and careful like I do doing it sideways so nothing falls. Okay. Get it on there. And you get your Allen key on there and just tighten her up. I'm gonna tighten it up nice and good. Because I don't want these bar in mirrors falling off, man. They're too expensive to be having that crap happen. So I don't think that's going anywhere. That's on there pretty rock solid. So that's the adapter for the mirror. And now for the mirror, we'll go ahead and slap one on here real quick for you. Um, see, okay, I got the right one. You're gonna need an Allen key for this too. Uh, you gotta tighten this bolt and then it just flips down, put it on, tighten it up. You're rocking and rolling new mirrors. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll get this out the way. Turn it, they turn, so easy to get to. And you probably wanna use the right Allen key, Brian. You freaking dork. Oh, where is it? I don't, is it that one? It is, sweet. Ah, oh, I'm back here. 
All right, so got my right Allen key now, being a freaking dork, freaking. Unloosen this thing. Okay. Put that down. Do that. It's gonna swing open. Get it over here on your bar. Oh, let me get that in the way. You're gonna clamp it down onto here. All right, and then you're just gonna tighten her down. Tighten her down pretty good. Don't know, don't you know overdo it or anything, but make sure it's on there. You don't want to lose these things, guys. You know what? Let me move this bar in where I do it. down that way. That's much easier. And now you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. Man, I'm a freaking smart guy, huh? Bam. And there you go. We got uh, one of the bar and mirrors on. Let's go ahead and check it out. So you guys can see it. Bam. You guys like it? So basically, of course, you'll adjust it to how you like. I might have to adjust these a little more, turn it a little bit more how I like them. But that's how you're going to do it on both sides. Okay, folks? Well, the throttle side is going to be a little different. So we'll still film that one. All right, everybody. Here we go. We are going to go ahead and we're going to take off the OEM bar end here on the throttle side. Now we're going to grab our adapter and we're going to install that. All right, everybody, I just went ahead, pre-assembled it again. Uh, you're going to go ahead and you're going to stick it in here again sideways. You don't want nothing to fall out. Now what I'm going to do, because this is going that way, I don't want nothing to fall off. I'm going to kind of pre-tighten it a little bit, okay? So that way it has at least some pressure on it, so it's not going to fall, okay? Then we're going to get in here, we're going to tighten her up. I said I don't want nothing falling out. So it seems like it's tightening on there. Okay, now this is what you want to make sure still happens on it, okay? So I'm going to tighten her down like I want to. Okay, that's probably pretty tight. See, I tightened it too much down, now the throttle's sticking. So you need to back it off a bit till you get it to where the thing's still going okay now it's a little loose for me so that kind of poses a problem so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out a little bit out from here and tighten it down and then see now that's not running into the uh, the throttle at all and it's tight I'm actually might back it out just a tiny tiny bit more out of there but not much you know um, because I don't want it to ever stick, but I don't want it to fall out either, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up here. Tighten it as much as I can. Uh, all right, because I don't want this thing moving. I'm telling you, I don't. Ugh, get that out of there. All right, so we still got the good throttle snap back. All right, this is on there nice and secure, and then we're gonna attach our mirror. So, same as last time, you're going to open it up, get on here, clamp it down. Look, it even kind of holds itself. Get your stuff back in on there, move the mirror out the way so you don't scratch it. And tighten it down. Again, you're going to have to sit there, get on your bike, adjust your mirrors where you want these sitting and stuff. So, I'm not even sure this is exactly where I'm going to have. Like, they're going to be mounted just like this, but I'm talking about where they need to be forward, back, up, how they're moving around, where they're sitting and stuff, okay? So, that's the bar end mirrors right there from uh, CRG. They're great, 107 bucks a piece, so, yep, you got it, plus tax, all that. So you're looking at about, you know, 225, 200 something bucks to get these mirrors, but these things are legit, man. Um, I had the same ones on the FZ07. Um, these are great mirrors. They don't move in the wind. They're very sturdy. They stick and you can adjust them mount them different ways However, you want they break in so if you hit cars or anything bump into them They can break away and stuff so you won't jack them up, but they're very very durable I had the other ones for three years man, so these are great mirrors So 
um, I'll have the link down in the description or you guys can just go on Revzilla where I bought it from and just look up CRG mirrors and then your bike and all that stuff and then BAM there you go you got them okay so got rid of all the OEM stock stuff installed the new mirrors first upgrade video for the FC MT-09 is done peeps alright we're gonna move on to more and more and more install videos I got so much stuff I'm gonna do they'll be coming at you guys real quickly and stuff like that so be ready for them later